Vision is going to go. After we'll go into Cisco Meraki dashboard to configure everything, and then finally test it um, with an outside client sending packet to an inside client, and the port forwarding working by taking captures on the actual server. Um, and we'll take a look at all of that. So let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, here we have my topology, and what this looks like is I'll explain it. So here we have the internet. So here is my let's say my Virgin, my Sky broadband, and um, this area here is essentially my home network. So the MX1 is uh, has an IP address on the home network, and I have an outside client, um, which is a laptop. Um, and then here is the Meraki Lab network, um, where we have an MX firewall, a stateful firewall um, that is in front of here. So what that means is clients can send out traffic um to wherever so they could send it out to the outside client so they could go out to the internet that's fine but if a client uh, tries to send traffic through to internal systems um, the mx will say no here so we'll block it the mx1 unless a port forwarding rule is set up so that's what we're going to be doing in the video today uh, and let me just show you what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting up a uh, port forward to telnet which is port 23. Um, so what we'll do is, so I'm just gonna show you how it will look. So we're gonna send a, uh, a packet from the outside client. Um, the address, so the source address will be uh, .21, um, which is the client's IP address. Uh, the destination IP address will be port, uh, sorry, .26, which is the MX1. And here is the port, so the outside port. So I've configured, um, I'm going to configure in this video for the MX to translate port 123 uh, over to 23. Um, so we'll do that later on. So let's go through and look how the packet looks as it trans goes through translation. So the client sends the packet, it hits the MX on the one. Uh, nothing has changed as of yet. No translation has been done. Um, but port forwarded and now. Uh, this is where the MX is. It knows it's listening on port 123, let's say once it's set up. And what it's going to do is after we've set it up, it's going to say, okay, port 123 needs to be translated to be sent to a particular IP address and a particular port. Um, in this case, it is the, the, the IP address is 172.16.20.4, which is our server over here, and port 23. Um, so what it will do then is it will simply just send that down to uh, the server. Um, so, and that's pretty much how the port forwarding works. So let's go ahead and head over to dashboard. I'll show you how to set that up. And we could uh, do a packet capture um, onto this server um, and send, let's say, a client uh, packet on port 123 and see it arrive over here onto uh, the server. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so here we are under the firewall page. So I've gone into security in SV1 and I've gone into firewall. Let's scroll down over to the forwarding rules. Um, so you'll have a bunch of forwarding rules. Today we're gonna be focusing on port forwarding. So let's go ahead and set that up. Um, so like I said, we're gonna translate um, in, the, in the presentation, sorry, we're gonna translate uh, over here. So let's me draw it out. So we're just gonna send some traffic uh, to one, two, three, oh, one, two, three port, and it's gonna be translated over to Telnet port 23, um, and then that's gonna be sent to the server. So we're setting that up on this MX currently. So let's head back to dashboard over here. So first let's talk about the description. So I'm just gonna give it a good name uh, so people can know roughly what it's about. So I'm just gonna say, Telnet server. So um, let's move over to the uplink. So the uplink you could set it up on both of the WAN interfaces if you have two, or you could set it up on just one if you only want it to work on a particular WAN, um, which will, uh, I guess, uh, help your security a bit more. Um, so I'm going to leave it as both for now. Um, and here we have the protocol. So the next part is protocol. Let's. So you have TCP and UDP as the options. Um, so the Telnet port is going to be TCP um, and the public port. So this is going to be one, two, three. Yeah. So um, let me just go back to the diagram. So the public port is important for over here. 
So the WAN is going to hit and over here we're going to specify that when traffic comes in on port 123, um, that's what you're going to be listening in on. Uh, and the LAN IP. So this will be the IP address of our internal server. So that will be over here, uh, 172, oh, sorry about that. So 172, so that IP address will be 172.16.20.4. Uh, so let's head over and configure that. And finally, we have the local port. So that will be Talnet port 23. Um, and now finally we have the allowed remote IPs. So that is if you only want particular, let's say public IPs or I don't know, maybe just a client in my case, uh, to tr be able to use this port forwarding rule. Again, it helps with security um, to ensure that not anybody is coming in to your internal network on port 23. But that's what it looks like in dashboard. And we're gonna go ahead and click save changes and once that's set up, uh, that's what it will look like. Uh, what we're going to do is I'll head over to my applications. We'll start a Wireshark on the server, send a packet to port 20, uh, sorry, 123. That will be sent over to this LAN IP via this local port, and we'll see all of that. So let's go ahead and do that. So here is uh, the setup. So this is an application over here. It's an uh, application running on my Mac and the source IP address, um, if you could see, it's 192.168.0.21. And the destination IP address is gonna be 192.168.0.26. Um, and the port that I'm gonna be sending traffic to is TCP port 123. This application that I'm using is called Packet Sender. Um, so it's good for these reasons, for troubleshooting if you ever need to. Um, and I'll have another video on troubleshooting um, for you guys uh, to use. So um, just to show you again, yep, yeah, so we're gonna send uh, traffic, I'm gonna move my head over, and we're just gonna send traffic on port 123. It's gonna hit 192.168.0.26, be translated translated over uh, to the MX, and it's gonna hit the server. Um, so what I have here is on the server, so let's open up my server. And if I can open up CMD, let me just show you the IP address of this server. Uh, once it loads, um, here we are. It's a bit slow. Okay, so I'm just going to run IP config here. And as you can see, 172.16.24 which as you can see, that is this server. Uh, so let's go ahead into Wireshark and I'm currently capturing traffic on TCP port 23. So let's send over that packet. And as you can see instantly, uh, packets have been sent over to the Telnet port. So let's bring that out um, a little bit and let's look into the Wireshark capture. So now I know I've set up port forwarding and it's working. Um, the MX is successfully sending traffic um, over uh, on port 23. So here is the source uh, address, uh, the destination address. Um, so the source address doesn't change. Uh, the destination address is 172.20.4. And um, again, as you could see over here, the destination port is port 23. In different video, I'm going to show you how you can troubleshoot this if it ever goes wrong, but that's how you would set up port forwarding on an MX. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful.